Hello YouTube, I'm Xeon, you're in Galactic View. Today's video will be a tutorial of Veroid. In the previous video, we were on the clothing editor. But we've just got started with the actual clothing editor. On the left side when you're in the clothing tab, next to the design tab. Right next to it the texture word is, that will be our tutorial for this video. We'll be actually be painting the clothes. Once you click that you'll be heading to the texture area, in Veroid, Mika Mika Dance, PMX and other software use this type of, let's say reference to the type of painting you will use for the clothing. On your left side, you'll see the selected clothing into different sections, depending on your style and clothing choices. It will be stated as base color, shade color. The actual texture, aka basic design of clothes, then layers, guide layer and default image. When you select base color you can change the basic color of the clothing, but it's only slightly. I will explain more of this in the hair tutorial. Our focus is going to be in default image. Between the character and the layers for coloring the texture, there's a couple of tools. The first one is a mouse, and the next one is a pencil. The pencil is for painting on the clothes. You need to be careful with the layers as some of them might mix each other unintentionally. Every single part of clothing has the same process. On the upper right side, right before it say brush pair materials. There's a small type of triangle, that's the mirror option. This will be your best friend in this program, you will see the reason why in a few minutes. Click the icon to activate it, now go to the shape underneath the brush parameters. You will have four types of shapes, one is a circle, next is a faded rectangle, next a small circle that looks like spray paint, which is exactly what is means and will do that, and the last one is a diagonal line. Underneath brush parameters. You will have four types of shapes, one is a circle, next is a faded rectangle, next a small circle that looks like spray paint, which is exactly what is means and will do that, and the last one is a diagonal line. Now beneath the brush types there's another tab called brush parameters, there will be two bars there. One is called width which is referred as the width of the brush form small to large, and the other one which is called opacity, which it refers to the amount of paint it will be added to the area from nothing to 100%. Now head to the first tab which is called brush color and select the color you want, in my character tutorial, I'll be selecting a type of purple. And now we'll go to the actual painting on the clothing. Since I selected the first shape of painting with maximum opacity, it should be very easy to notice the difference. I'll be making a simple desig for simplicity. Notice that the mirroring feature is helping us with painting the character so easily. This is what I meant why the mirror feature will be your best friend. In texture, the clothing is divided in multiple sides. Tops and bottoms are divided between front and back, but accessories and shoes are divided even more. Whenever you want to change the brush's size, you can always go to the width and play around to your preferences.
The same is applied with the brush types. You can do the same thing on the other side of the clothes. I will do the same in the back. Now the same process will be repeated through the rest of the clothing. It will still be shown to avoid confusion. Notice the drop-like icon above the color selection chart. This tool can help you extract the same color from a designated area if you forgot to know the specific color. Notice that most of the color related tools can be interacted with the character as well, and it will be almost similar dressings. The difference is when you paint or erase something directly from the character it won't exactly go to the other part of the clothing, it will get a little stuck.
in the previous video. We'll continue with clothing, but with the eraser tool. Remember to like and subscribe. It will please me.